Welcome. This is night two of we have. Uh, I was about to say we have so many times we don't know what to do. That's a previous show. This is we are here to change the world. That's that. That's what it is. Night two of we are here to change the world. Uh, big night tonight. You know, we got Nobuhiko Takata versus Mighty Maccabee in the main event. What else do we have here? We got we got Bam Margera and Claudio Castagnoli going together. Uh, United Empire and Badass Translate Trading are going at it. But that's just some of the matches. So, this match. Right here. Chris Hero. Mitsuharu Masawa and Throw Billy Silas. What did these what did these three men have in common? Well I'll tell you. They are all our two time never open weight champions. So Masawa and Throw Billy Silas have the opportunity to become the first ever three time never open weight champion. Or Chris Hero can retain his belt. Chris Hero, I think, beat Dale Torborg, I believe. I think he uh, I think he beat Dale Torborg. Masawa, I think he he beat someone. He lost to Excalibur and then he won it back. I think Chris Hero beat Thurbay Silas. Like, the, for the first time. The first belt. Anyway. Enough of that about, nothing about that backstory. What's. What's in a match? Alright. Here we go. Thrill Billy Silas. Two time. Never open weight champion. One of the longer reigning never open weight champions. I don't think he's the longest reigning never open weight champion. I think he's one of the longer ones. He held it for a little bit. He held it for a lot. I think he had like at least like four or five defenses. Silas. Getting that thing, putting a finger up in the air. <laughs> Roman Reigns. <laughs> Masawa. Very short. Not a lot of. Not a lot to talk about Masawa's reigns. I think he got beat by Excalibur. For a bell, and then he won it back from Excalibur. But he never, I don't think he ever really defended him. I think he won him, and then he and then he had no defenses, and then he lost him the next match. Here comes the champ. Never open weight champ. Chris Hero. Chris Hero. Two time Never Open champion. Uh, did he lose the title to Swerve Strickland? I, th I think it's like he lost the title to Swerve Strickland. And then Swerve lost it. Swerve dropped it to Dale Torborg. Then Chris is, Chris wrestled Dale Torborg. But then uh, that was a countout loss. That kind of went for Dale, I think. So it was Chris Hero. Then challenged him again and he won. So there we go. This is elimination rules. So yeah, just elimination, standard elimination rules. Sawa went for a body slam, but Thrillbilly Sawa actually saved Chris Hero, but. I think both of these men could, uh, I think Masawa and Silas, I think, could just, like, double-team Chris Hero here. Jawbreaker, ooh, shit. Jawbreaker, elbow strike combo by Chris Hero and Silas. Oh, shit. The f Was that a double-team move? Masawa hit a German and fucking Silas hit a backdrop driver. I need to hear this more. Hang on. Let me change my volume a little bit. I turned it down, like, 24. There we go. Masawa. Two time never weight never open weight champion. All these guys are two time never open weight champions. Masawa let's look looking for big, big uh is that a centaur? It didn't look like a centaur. Almost looked like a leg drop. Silas and Masawa both get thrown into the whole corner by Chris Hero. There it is, another jawbreaker uh, elbow strike combo by Hiro and Silas. Not Hiro, it's Hiro, Hiro and Masawa. I heard Chris Hiro came back to wrestling. I think he might have had like one match, one or like one or two matches. I don't know. He came. I think it was like he came back like a couple months ago. Big boy there by Misawa and Hero. Tries to look at Silas, but Silas. Body slam, not body slam, fucking. God damn it. Vertical suplex of his own. 
Silas punched to the top of his head. Look, that was a that's an, always a nice looking counter to a move. That is always a nice looking counter. Short attack by Silas. What's there to talk about? Uh, what is there to talk about? Shit. <laughs> uh, let me think. I heard DSP had a melt. I heard a Dark Side Phil had a meltdown, like a massive melt meltdown. Uh, I heard Cyrax admitted to being a pedophile. <laughs> so that's cool, you know. Uh, Daniel Larson turning the history of Texas. You know, so that's that's good. That's good to die. That's good that Daniel Larson's getting an education, but actually, no, wait, no, it isn't. I heard, Ju I heard Jupiter is doing some weird shit. When is Jupiter not doing any weird shit? Like Jupiter the Hybrid? When is he not doing any weird shit? That guy is just like the king of weird shit. No one that was eliminated so far. Sawa so got much suplex. To Silas. It's a hero like a hero with a fucking impaler. My god. Lots of Masawa, but I think like Masawa's head is just like too tough of a of a like tomorrow's head drops why is your count out the fuck oh shit ooh suplex to the outside to masawa and here is got a pin but the ref is too busy counting chris too busy trying to count masawa out for no reason that's where yeah half of these reps are fucking incompetent snapmare my masawa masawa's list Spinning backdrop drive, not backdrop, drive, backdrop suplex. Or just back suplex. Sawa. That was it ahead of Silas. Hero. Jumping suplex. Chris, you're a former, uh, I was supposed to say former Ring of Honor World Champion. He never won the Ring of Honor World title. Former PWG Champion. Former, uh, what else is he fucking won? I think I'm pretty sure he's a former PWG Tag Champion, former Ring of Honor Tag Champion too. Um, and that's pretty much that's pretty much all I can remember about Chris Hero. Though to be honest, I don't know too much about him. I think he might be a NWA TV Champion. Oh, speaking of Silas, Pile Driver onto Hero. And Masawa, former GHC Heavyweight Champion, former Triple Crown Champion. Multiple time tag, tag champ across many, across a bunch of promotions. Mostly all Japan and Noah. Dropped by Silas, elbow by Hero. Chris Hero and Masawa's elbows are lethal. They're lethal elbows. Masawa's are lethal. Chris is also is probably going to be lethal. Rolling elbow, he missed. Hero, capture suplex. And his backdrop driver onto Masawa. Silas sort of larried onto Hero. I says, ooh, wow. What's that? 2.9. Masawa almost got eliminated from that. Hero looks exhausted. He's standing in the ring. Toronto close on by Hero to Silas. Hero went for something, but just collided with Silas. Elbow to the head. Seems like Silas is getting targeted on by both of these guys. Ring in the arm. Should assisted power bomb. Ooh, no power bomb neck breaker combo. By Hero and Silas, that might be it for Masawa. No. Two point nine. <laughs> Sawa tried to go for something, but Hero gets saved by Silas unintentionally. Elbow to the back of Sawa's head. Hero might might want to be looking for like a hero's welcome or something like that. Another capture suplex. Inziguri by Hero and Hero. This is pretty evenly matched. Big Larry by Thrillbilly. What kind of fucking name is Thrillbilly? Like, what kind of a fucking name is that? Backdrop Driver by Hero. Oh, man. Oh, shit. 
Tiger driver. Oh, tiger driver. Ninety fucking. Wasn't even a one. That wasn't even a fucking one, and Chris Hero kicked out of it. Well, too bad. I think it was like a rope break. Oh shit! There goes Chris Hero. How is Chris Hero still like walking? And that move kills people. That move like could fucking kill you. The Sawa. Oh shit! Elmo Flosion. But no. Chris Hero gets Masawa. Throws Masawa into Silas and Hero with a leg drop onto Masawa. Into Giri by Hero. Masawa hit the Emerald Flosion on, on Silas. That probably would have spelt the end of Silas's hopes of being never a two time never weight champion, but. But, uh. Hero was able to stop the count. He wasn't even able to. He wasn't. Even, no, he didn't stop a count. He, he stopped Masawa from pinning. All three men down for the count. Here was up. Masawa was up. And Silas is also up. Double team maneuver gets blocked. Hero, what's he looking for? He oh, probably went for a suplex, but Silas able to reverse it. It's a pretty good triple threat match. At least I think it's pretty good. Silas hits a bulldog after Hero tries to. I'm pretty sure he was trying to hit a backdrop driver. Hero back and forth elbows. Look at this. My fucking god, imagine. Rolling elbow by Masawa. Oh shit. Oh fuck. It's Silas. Pile driver immediately after it happens. The hero picks him up, but no, Masawa gets out of it. Whatever he is. Jawbreaker. Elbow combo. Oh shit. Oh. Probably went for another probably went for a tiger driver, but backed up driver onto Silas. Silas reversed that uh tiger driver attempt. Masawa, what's he looking for? Oh, tiger suplex! Ooh! That might be it. That might be it for Hero. We might be a new champion. We are going to have a new champion. Guaranteed, one of these men to be the first ever three-time never open weight champion. Backdrop, suplex, hold, whatever the fuck that's called, into a power bomb. That might be it. No. Masawa kicks out at two. Silas hits an elbow. Silas sends Masawa to the corner. Masawa moves out of the way. Masawa again. Ooh, and it just gets fucking flung out of the ring by that big boot from old Thrill Billy. Elbow by Masawa. But Silas again sends him into the corner. Silas in control of this match. We might see. Silas might be might make history tonight, but no. Throws him out of the ring. He might want maybe he might be getting a count out way. He might. I mean, it, I think like if he gets a count out, he'll still be champion. He won by count out. There's no champion's advantage. At least I think. Well, that might be it. That might be it. That's it. Thrill Billy Silas has made history tonight. Thrill Billy Silas has made history. He's the first ever three time never open weight champ. That is fucking awesome. A new champion. First ever three time champion. Now let's see if that actually changes. I know like battle royals have like a tendency to like not make it. Uh no, no he still is. What is the next match? Let me type it out here real quick. Our next match will be Real Billy Silas, man. He made history. Shout out to Billy Ray Cyrus. What the fuck am I talking about? Billy Ray Cyrus? <laughs> Alright, here we go. Up next. And here's a little gossip. A little, uh, little tea. For you. Here's a little tea. For you guys. Bullet Club has fractured a little bit.
Bullet Club is kind of split off. We have, from uh, from what I'm hearing, from what I'm hearing from uh, the Bullet Club members who split off from the main group, we have Jay White's, and as you see right there, Jay White's Bullet Club Gold split off, went to AEW, and then in New Japan. We got the House of Torture and the Bullet Club War Dogs. Fuck, man. Most of the Bullet Club, but it's still Bullet Club still is a big stable. It's just it's a little bit smaller. Next match will be Bullet Club War Dog member Gabe Kidd, accompanied by Ghetto and Alex Coughlin, former IWGP ta Heavyweight Tag Champs. In these two. Gabe is going to be facing off against what he, facing off against a man, a main man, if I could find him, if I could find him, <laughs> I apologize, Keichi Yamada, Keichi Yamada, excuse me, Keichi Yamada, coming in, I have no idea who this fucking guy is. No idea who this dude is. And he wears red pants and white shoes. So. Just kind of looks like a loser really. F I'm fucking with you. That, that's Liger. That, I'm, 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 I'm trying to keep K babe. I don't really want to anymore. That's Liger. That's Liger in a mask. Like that's Liger without his mask. It's not Liger himself. But I, I, think, his, I think their movesets are different. But it's just. That's Liger. And here comes Ghetto. There's Gabe Kid, Alex Coughlin, probably playing cards backstage with with uh, the fellow War Dogs or something. And that's crazy, cause the war when the War Dogs left, they took the titles with them. Cause um, if you remember, uh, if you guys remember, Alex Coughlin. Okay, hang on. David Finley and Gabe Kidd were the Fire Pro Wrestling Junior Heavyweight Champion and the Fire Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Or just the Fire Pro Wrestling Champion. So, that made... Bullet Club has no titles anymore. They have... And with Kanemaru, he, when he split off to House of Torture, he vacated his spot for the Arsenal Storm Championship. So Bullet Club now has to find a new person to fill in for Kanemaru. This is... Bullet Club is in a bad way, guys. They're, they're in a bad, bad way. And Matt Jackson lost the... I think, what was it? The Wonder Stardom title? I think it was the Wonder Stardom title. Was it? Was it Wonder Stardom? No, Wonder Stardom... Yeah, Wonder Stardom title. Yeah, Matt Jackson lost the Wonder Stardom championship last... Uh, last night. I just remembered that. So... Very, very bad times for Bullet Club. The original, the original Bullet Club stable, because like there's Bullet, there's War Dogs, and then Bullet Club Gold, Gabe Kid. Shockingly, I, I didn't think he was gonna. Ooh, fucking god! Not, nice to war, to the war, to the war. Yeah, yeah, nice titty world black backbreaker by Keiichi Yamada. Keiichi, it's Keiichi, not Keiichi, it's Keiichi. And Gabe Kid, back elbow to Yamada, working the leg now. Is Gabe Kid really a junior? Like, I don't think he is. Is he? Hang on, let me look. Gabe Kid. Gabe Kids. I looked up Gabe Kids by accident. How much does he weigh? He is two. Okay, yeah, he yeah, he fits. Yeah, he fits. He's he's two hundred. I think the the limit is uh, two twenty. Oh, there goes. There's a chair. Yeah, Ghetto went with them to the War Dogs too, so Bullet Club lost their uh, like their main manager. I mean, Don Callis is in it, but like Don Callis is in Bullet Club for some reason. But fuck Don Callis, <laughs> fuck him. I hate Don Callis. Yamada again sweeps the leg of Gabe Kidd, and now Boston Crab. Yamada put him to work on the champion, but the champion. And there's a sickle now. Both Coughlin and Ghetto, I think, have pushed in these weapons. And maybe Coughlin put in that chair. I don't know. Snapmare by Yamada. 
and Yamada sends Gabe to the corner. Yeah, Gabe, Gabe is getting the fuck beat out of him in this match. Yamada waits to look for it. Oh, no. Oh, my God. He landed on a sickle. Elbow drop. Yamada lands on the sickle. And then Gabe immediately hit, a, hit an elbow drop. And now he's working on him. Now he's working on the boss with grabbing. Alex Coughlin throws the two sweet. That too sweet. Too sweet. I like the Wardogs. Like, okay, this is like real talk. I like the Wardogs. David Finley probably like isn't a main eventer to me, but like the Wardogs are a pretty good stable. I, I voice crack. The Wardogs are a pretty good stable. I mean, they're. They got some. Oh shit. <laughs> some Buo. Some fucking big Muda shit by Gabe Kid. Not Gabe Kid. By Yamada and Yamada again. Working that leg of Gabe Kid. Gabe Kid. He's kind of like a. I, I bet they're gonna do a thing. Oh, there goes the sickle. I bet the. I've been hearing reports that they're gonna do a thing of like a. Or they might do a thing where like. The. David Finley. I think it was like. Gabe, David Finley and Gabe Kid are gonna have a feud or something like that. Oh shit. Yamada probably went for like a. Like a funny looking pin, but. But Gabe took him down. I don't know if they're gonna do. I don't watch New Japan, so I don't know if they're gonna do that or not. I've, I've seen like Gabe and Dave. Gabe, 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 Gabe. I've heard a. Uh, I've seen like clips or something of Gabe and David being like really kind of like kind of tense. Maybe it's long-term storytelling. Maybe it's just maybe it's just Gabe, David thinks Gabe's kind of an asshole. I don't know. Kick out by Gabe Kid, the current junior heavyweight champion. Not the not the IWGP junior heavyweight champion. That is still Jujun Liger. Jujun Liger is wrestling tonight. I will not tell you who his who is a uh, whose partner, who is a who's opponent right now. I'm pretty sure I already told you on night one. I'm pretty sure I already told you on this very show. I probably forgot. Chop to the to the knees. My God, two chops to the knees of Yamada. That's smart by Gabe Kid. Smart to take out the legs of a Luchador. Luchadors need those legs. And Gabe Kid, what's he looking for here? Nothing. <laughs> Fucking nothing. Again, nothing. It's a Giri by Yamada. Yamada, ooh, eats a big fucking chop by Gabe. <laughs> Gabe sends him into the, into the corner and more chops from the Junior Heavyweight Champion. And he's just kicking the his head, my god. What an asshole. What an asshole. Gabe, oh shit. Chops exchange from both men. Elbow strikes, followed by another elbow strike, and Yamada goes down. Yamada, again, taking out the leg, followed by an arm lock. Will, ta will Gabe tap out, or is he gonna go to the ropes? No, Gabe gets out of it. He just gets. He has powered out of it. Chop to Yamada. Yamada goes down, but Yamada's back up. Diamond Geary missed, but Yamada snap suplex. What's Yamada looking for here? Mood salt, but that's a rope break. Rope break, Yamada. Gabe Kid was in the ropes, and Yamada might be going for another one. On his back, my god. But Yamada picks him up. What's he going for? Again, nothing. Yamada this time goes down, though. Gabe, drop kick to the leg. But Yamada, Yamada's immediately back up. The fighting spirit. Yeah. Fight forever. I hate that fucking chant. Have I, have I told you guys that? I hate that fucking chant. The fight forever chant. I hate that fucking. I hate it. It's 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 annoying as shit. You know, it's. Yeah. Like, I think most wrestling chants. Oh, there's iron fingers. I think I think the most wrestling wrestling chants are kind of annoying, but like. Especially like the fight forever, uh, you still got it for guys that like that were gone for like four months. <laughs> That's never happens. I may, I may, I'm making a straw man argument. Man. <laughs> Gabe Kid sends Yamada down. Gabe gets sent to the ropes. Yamada sliding down, sliding down again. What's he looking for here? Nothing. Yeah. They always do that. They always fucking do that. Oh shit. 
Demata. Chop. Eats a chop. More chop, my god. Oh, punch it back in the fucking head, too. Another Muda esque move. Snap suplex. Almost on the broken chair, but that I didn't work. Mata Domingiri. The amount of drop kick with the flip. Flip drop kick. Yamada sending Gaku. We saw him do this earlier. What's this? Superplex? Oh my fucking god, a brain buster off the top rope. That's gotta be it. No! Gabe kicked out at 2.9. My fucking god. Leg sweep again, takes out. Gabe Kid moves salt to the back. We saw that earlier. Is he gonna pin? No. He's going for another one. Another moves all to the back. And he's not done with him. Spinning kick to the side of Gabe Kid's fucking head. Is he gonna let him get up? Gabe Kid is down. But no. Gabe Kid fighting back. Gabe Kid with chops. Another chop. That's time to the back of the head look like. And Gabe. Yamada eat hits a fucking body slam. Another boot shot, that's it. Oh my god. Keichi Yamada snatches a tide away from the war dogs. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Knocked him. He knocked him the fuck out. <laughs> he fucking knocked him out. He hit two moonsaults to his back. Back to back. And then a moonsault again. Knocks out Gage. What does he, he, he think this is? You, you know if I? <laughs> knocked him out with a moonsault. You fucking kidding me? I guarantee you. Fucking David Finley is screaming his fucking head off. Maybe type this out. Yamada. Wins Fire Pro Junior Heavyweight Time. All right, here comes the Modern Freestyle Rules matches up next. SWA Rules or oh, Modern Freestyle Rules? Excuse me. It's gonna be under SWA Rules, and now you're gonna see something here. This is gonna be your main event. By the way, this this is your main event. Takata, Maccabee. That's gonna be your main event. For right now. We got a we got a little ways to go from there. Dylan James. Big mainstay of the freestyle rules heavyweight division. Facing off against TNT. T N fucking T. The Karataka Ninja. Three minutes? Is it three minutes? I forgot. <laughs> Let me see. Hang on. Let me look. Yeah, yeah, ten rest three minutes. Okay. I had to look because I forgot. <laughs> All right. Yeah, three minutes. Here it comes. The challenger, TNT, from Puerto Rico, I think. Yeah, Puerto Rico. Yeah. Stupid. One and one. I don't know who that win and that loss is to, but oh well. After this, uh, after the Rumble, I was thinking of doing the Inferno League. That's going to be our, that's going to be like our yearly tournament, I'm guessing. That's going to be our yearly tournament. Where it's gonna be like 65, like I usually do 64 people, and whoever wins it, and like whoever wins it gets a heavyweight title shot. You know what I mean? I was thinking Inferno Tag League too, where it's just 64 teams. Like that's gonna be fucking crazy. TNT gets sent to the to the uh, corner. Dylan James. I don't know about the rumble, because, like, the rumble... I don't know if I should just let, like, the... Ran I should just randomize it. 
like randomize everything or like because I am thinking of certain people that I would want to see in the rumble I'm the booker so I mean I'm conflicted because like I don't want to just make it like oh yeah fucking you know like I don't want to just make it like oh yeah this, I'm gonna have fucking like um, I don't know I just I'm gonna be on I wanna be honest with everybody. I'm probably gonna book some shit for Rumble. I'm just gonna book like I'm gonna I'm gonna book like numbers and shit. I'm not gonna I'm it's not gonna be a randomized order. I'm not just gonna randomize like everybody. I'm gonna I'm gonna put people that I wanna put in and then I'm gonna put and then I'm gonna just make them come out as they are. You know what I mean? Body slam by TNT. But yeah, I just wanted to be—I just wanted to be honest with you guys about it. It was eating—it was—it's been eating me up the past couple of days. Uh, TNT was looking for something. Dylan James, I think the last Voodoo Murders never to hold a title. Let me do something real quick. But yeah, I'm gonna try to save my money to get a fucking PS5, man. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to save my money to get a PS5. You know, I ain't got a job, but I get like a little bit of income. Not from this, not from the YouTube channel, but like from like like menial tasks and shit around the house. So if I I can wait uh, around like a couple months, maybe like three or four, and I'll probably will be able to get a uh, a uh, PS4. I probably oh no PS. PS5. I've got a PS4. I, got, I want a. I want a fucking PS5. Kidding me? I, I want to play Mortal Kombat 1. That's what I want. I'm, oh shit! There's mist. I want to play fucking Mortal Kombat 1. I, I heard it's. I heard it's not that good, but like, I want to. I still want to play it. <laughs> I still want to fucking play it. Fucking like Peacemaker's gonna be in it. Shit. Uh, like a Dragon Infinite Wealth as well. Yeah, I want to play. I want to play the fuck out of that game. And I, was, I think it's backwards compatible, isn't it? Like. Is it like like for digital releases? It's backwards compatible. Like you, like if you log on to your like PS4, like if you get your PlayStation account on your fucking PS5, are you able to? You know, let me look it up. If you log in to your account on your PS5 to your PS4 games carry over. Cause like I, I I know like like physical games you can't like physical game probably not but like digital maybe. Digital's a maybe. Uh says yes says here that it does so. Every digital game that I have, it's gonna go carry over there. I think, or is it, I think it's like every game, right? And TNT down for um, TKO. Okay, so I can just transfer them all over to my PS5. Okay, that's cool. DDT by TNT. TNT DDT. DDTNT. Fucking stupid. <laughs> oh my god, this is my noise makes me. And TNT sends Dylan James down. Dylan James up at 5. Up at 6. Never mind. Round 4 about to start. This is. This is this is the round that usually ends matches. This is the this is the round that usually has the matches end. Rounds four or five. I don't think anyone's gone to like rounds. No one's ever like gone to round ten. No one has ever gotten to like round ten. No one's ever gotten like past round seven. I'll let a slam. TNT by Dylan James. Nice looking out of slam too. That was a really good looking out of slam. TNT up at three. Wow. James went for a suplex with TNT. Spinning fucking kick. Spinning roundhouse. My fucking lord. What's TNT looking for? Elbow drop to the champion. 
but Dylan James gets up. He's on his feet. Seven. Yeah, seven. Gets up at seven. TT slams Dylan James out. It's around like this point, like you 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 learn like, oh yeah, this guy's gonna win. And I think I think I think I, I can tell who's gonna win this match. Eight, nine. We have a new champion. His name is TNT. TN fucking T, dude. TNT has won the Modern Freestyle Rules Heavyweight Championship. I wasn't really that invested in that match, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> that match was kind of boring, but oh well. At least it was boring for me, but oh well. TNT with the win over Dylan James. <laughs> Went over Dylan James tonight. The Gorillas of Destiny are up next. The Washington DC Exchange. Daniel Cormier and Josh Barnett. Facing off against Bullet Clubs. Tama Tonga. And Tonga Loa. Let me come with the camo. Gorilla Tactics. Gorilla Tactics. Oh, it's SW rules. Fuck. It's <laughs> SW You know? I'm thinking, man. I'm thinking. Something. You wanna know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking. I don't know about these two belts. I like the Montevans rules. The Montevans rules title is actually cool, but like. These two, I don't know. I kind of want to get rid of them. I kind of do. Like, the thing about, like, every fucking, uh, Mon Freestyle Rules match is just, uh, like, always ends the same. Oh, yeah, they always end the matches around, like, rounds four or five. And they usually end with a TKO. They never really, they never really end, they usually end the same exact way every single time. It's, it's getting like the fucking like a, how the MMA title was where it was like it's always the same outcome every single time. It's like oh yeah, someone gets knocked out from like a like a punch or something, you know. Though that's how MMA works. Yeah, I know. Shut up. Yeah, shut up. There's a dog outside. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know if you can hear it, but this dog is really fucking loud. Yeah, he's just been barking nonstop for the entire recording. The entire fucking recording. He's gonna ruin this recording. He's ruining it. I'm not gonna fucking change it. Tama Tonga, Tonga Loa. Okay, is it Tonga Loa in this game or Tonga Loa? I think it was Tonga Roa in this game, but then Tonga, then they changed it to Tonga Loa. <sighs> I wonder where Tama Tonga's gonna go. Yeah, probably, probably AEW, probably WWE, I don't know. Josh Barnett and Daniel Cormier, two men who have held the IWGP Tag Team titles hostage. Not hostage, more like just, they've been dominant champions. Will the Gorillas of Destiny be able to take these two men out? Immediately, Daniel Cormier just hits two punches, but Daniel Cormier blocked the move from Tama Tonga. Having MMA guys as your champion isn't really that fun. <laughs> Tag to Tonga Loa. Yeah, it is Tonga Loa, yeah. Loa. Oh. Although, you know, he, was, he, was, he might have overpowered Daniel Cormier, but Daniel was just too strong. They both were just the same. Okay, here's the thing about the Tag League. You know what I'm gonna do? The Tag League will be for the IWGP Heavyweight title. Heavyweight Tag Titles. 
What the fuck is Tama Tonga doing? <laughs> and just so you know, I'm not booking these. I don't really want to book the Washington DC exchange. They're just too dominant. They're just too dominant. Yeah, that, that's the worst thing I've ever said in my life. Oh shit! 3D! 3D! Deadly death drop. Thomas Hunter with, with a pin? Oh no. So I'm gonna do like how um, like all Japan does their uh, tag titles. Like they put like they vacate them before a tournament. And then um like yeah, like they vacate them for like before uh, they do like have like a tag tournament every year. I think it's like they vacate the titles every year before this tournament and then the tag and like the finals are the final like the final two teams will wrestle for the tag titles and the winner of the tournament gets the titles. I might I'll do that. I might just do that. Infernal League now. I think Infernal League is just gonna be like my G1. Maybe sometimes it'll, it'll be for the heavyweight title, but like No, I, I think maybe like if if the title's vacated, like coincidence. <laughs> Should I do that? I'll do the Inferno League, and I'll do the Inferno League and the Tag League, I think, like, at the, around the same time. Let me look at my calendar. When should I do the Inferno League? Uh, so it's January 31st. Tomorrow will probably... Ne okay, next two days, tomorrow will be out. If I do one tomorrow, if I do Night 3 tomorrow, that'll be the first, and then the second... No, I think I'll probably just do both of them back to back, the back to back recordings. So I might do the Inferno League. I might start the Inferno League in like March or April. Well, let me think. Alright. March. Sometime in March 2024, next two months, the Inferno League would start. And the next month will be the Inferno Tag League. Who should be in it? Like, I'm gonna ask you all who should be in it. I'm gonna, okay, 60 floor, 64 slots, open for each. De There's the Dudley Death Driver again. The du Dudley Death Drop, excuse me. That's not the Dudley Death Driver. So I'm gonna ask you all, everyone who's watching, please, pretty pretty please. I probably should have said this earlier. Like and subscribe. Not most people who watch this these this video. Most people who watch these videos, they don't they don't subscribe. It, it's fucking weird. It's ridiculous. So subscribe to my channel if you have not. Which I'm pretty sure most people who watch this channel are probably something. I don't know. I can't tell. Sorry, I have to say that. I have to say that because I think it's like, like I think like if you tell people to subscribe, they'll subscribe to you more. So like I'm, I, I apologize for saying that. I'll probably do that in the video. I'll, I'll do it like more at the beginning, so I don't have to say it in the middle of the video. But like, I implore everyone that's watching this video, please, if you want a person and if you want a team to participate in both the Infernal League and the Tag League, please put it in the comments. Pretty please, 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 put it in the comments. I will have a, uh, I'll have two blocks. Maybe with like the amount of people, I'll have a, I'll probably have four. That's probably what I'll do. But I don't know. And with the sixty-four people, okay, it's Infernal League is sixty-four people. IWGP Heavyweight Champion is allowed, even though he probably won't. He probably they probably will not ever be in, depending on because of how many people are in this game. And then. The tag league, anyone can enter. Even previous, even current, it's only the heavyweight tag title. The heavyweight tag titles. That's the only title that's gonna be vacated. 
So the Junior Tag Titles will be fine. The Fire Pro Tag Titles will be fine. The Goddess and Storm Titles will be fine. Those titles, those titles, those titles will be fine. Those titles will, you, you, they, you can still have them. No, those won't be vacated, but the Heavyweight Tag Titles will be vacated. So, I implore all of you, if you want to see someone in the Inferno League, and you want to see a team in the Inferno Tag League, put it in the comments. At me on Twitter. Fucking... Send a send a fucking send a fucking letter to my house telling me oh yeah fucking here you go here's a put put Satoshi Kojima in it I don't, I don't fucking know like fucking call my phone no don't call my don't call me I hate calls but fucking fucking buy an airplane and fly over my house just fucking with a sign it says like a, like a, like those planes have like the little like those signs in the back of them. And so, like, oh yeah, will you marry me on the end of it? On them? Like, yeah, I'll do. Like, yeah, if you, if you, it, like, put it. If you have like on, if you get like a plane and you fly over there, of my house, something like that. If on the flag thing it says put Tamatonga in the fire in the, put the God in the Inferno Tag League, then you know what? I fucking will do it. I, I mean, I, I'll, I'll put them in. Fuck it. I'll put. I'll fucking put them in. You know. I implore, 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 implore. Please, pretty, pretty, please, for the for the goodness of the goodness of my heart. I've been pleading for I've been pleading for the past like ten minutes probably, but I really want I really want your guys' suggestions. I I don't want to just I don't want it to just be like me, my want. Even though this is my channel, I want people's opinions. I want people's people's suggestions. Do you who do you want to see in the Inferno League? Who do you want to see in the Tag League? What other events should we do? Elimination Chamber? I don't know. Okay. There is one fucking... Um... Wait, we... So our our main... Uh, our Wrestlemania. Right? Our Wrestlemania. The winner of the Rumble will get a title shot at our Wrestlemania. Our Wrestlemania show. Or Wrestle Kingdom. Because this is, a, this is a new Japan game. And our... Our WrestleMania. At, our, at this WrestleMania show. It's not it's not WrestleMania, but it's going to be... A WrestleMania like show. Our big show. I mean, all our shows are big, but... It'll be like the big, the big, the big, big one. I would like... It's going to be our, our big, big show. Like, our, like the, the, the year end. End of the year... You know, so I'm thinking the winner of the rumble will get. We'll wait a little bit. He'll wait a little bit. We will wait a little bit for that to actually happen. For the champions to actually, for we we we'll, we'll wait. We'll wait. Probably like a month. Probably like a month or two. Definitely before the Inferno League starts. The Inferno League starts in March. I should get it back. The Inferno League starts in March. I'll probably uh, hang on. No, wait, hang on. Yeah, hang on. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna replace them. I'm putting them both in April. This match is still going, by the way. Just to let you know. <laughs> so. Yeah. I'm starting them both in April. I'll hold them like concurrently. You know what I mean? So like both of them, like all of them will be concurrent. In front of me is a stupid name, but like, you know, this is how it is. This fucking dog has been barking outside my house. Give me a second. I'm back. Two point nine. Oh, my God, you almost saw you almost saw a new tag champs. But yeah, 
match. That's what's gonna happen. I've been talking more about the Inferno than talking about the match. I mean, I've already seen, I've seen enough of these fucking guys, so that's how it is. I do like Josh Barnett. I, I will. I I do like watching Josh Barnett. So it's just you know Corby. Maybe I maybe won't book him as much. Like Josh Barnett, I will. I, I I'm gonna be honest with you. I fucking I will book Josh Barnett in like other matches. If he loses to Thompson, I'll probably book him in like the the Emerald Monsters match or something or the or the uh, real world title. But yes, I'm gonna say it again. I implore you, if you have anybody that, that you want to see in the Inferno League or the Inferno Tag League, or or in like the, just if you want a person to be in the Inferno League or a tag team in the Inferno Tag League, just put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. I probably will make a community post around, uh, not, not not like right now, not, not like that, not just video, but I probably will make a community, I will make a community, so, I will make a community post about, I will try, I will remember, remember it, I'll make a community post about the Inferno League, and the Inferno Tag League, I'll make a, like a participant list, like this, this is all who's gonna be wrestling in it, and who's, here's all, here's like the, the blocks and shit, it's gonna be single, both of them are gonna be single elimination, I don't, I don't, I don't care about round robin, I don't, I don't believe in round robin tournaments, <laughs> Tomatonga with the big splash. I fucking love Tomatonga's splash. That fucking stinger splash he does where he fucking jumps halfway across the ring. That thing, I love Tom. Tomatonga. Tomatonga's so fucking great. Tama went for something, but no. But yeah, I will probably make a community post around the time when the Inferno League will start. About, like, the blocks. Like, what blocks, who else will be participating the rules and shit like that so not right now though i won't make it now i probably will make it around like april march is going to be our wrestlemania and i already come up with a name for it the dumb fucking name you ready for it it's rudamania and it's fucking rudamania running wild baby so that's what's good that's what's gonna happen I forgot to turn off my Discord, shit. Cormier, with the rain and the punches again. I think if it's anyone that can beat the... can beat the Washington DC Exchange, I think it's probably gonna be the, the Girls of Destiny. The Girls of Destiny like like eight time tag change or something like that. Like, they won them like a shit ton of times. And Josh Murdoch's gonna break it up. Yeah, fucking kicks him in the face like he's fucking Akia Maeda. Akira. Alabama slam by Tama Tonga. Uh, I thought damn, I thought Josh Barnett was still going stupid. Tama Tonga, there's Tonga low coming up. Diving leg drop again. You're not gonna pin him? Come on, man. Tama Tonga tagged in. Oh, big German suplex. Oh, no. Oh, I thought he was going for another one. Gunstein! By Tonga! But both men are going to get up. I know both men are going to get up. Josh Barnes going to get up. Oh, he's not getting up. Oh, there he is. Gunstein by Tama Tonga, but both men are up. Oh, that's Tama. At least Josh Barnes. Yeah, he's up now. He's up. Capture suplex by Barnett. Sort of fucking god, that's the finish. Okay, thank god. <laughs> I, 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 fucking, I swear to fucking god. I had like a fucking whiplash or something. <laughs> Tama, Tama, I think like, Tama hits another gun stun, it's over. Come, wait, why? Why are you doing that? Why are you putting me to his own corner? Like, I swear to god, these fucking guys don't know how tag matches work. <laughs> Stomping on his shoulder, my god. It was Daniel Cormier. Daniel Cormier is fucking cool as shit, though. That like Daniel Cormier is fucking awesome. Like I, I may uh, I may criticize him in this game, but I'm not. But I think Daniel Cormier is fucking awesome. <laughs> He's great. 
Ooh, big elbow strike there by, by Tongaloa. Oh, no. I, I remember fucking Daniel Cormier knocking out Perry Saturn like t 15 seconds or something like that. He knocked, no, he knocked him out in a minute. Like, it was like a minute something. Like, it was like a, like, it was, that was the, that's, like, that was, that's, I, I think that was the craziest fucking match I've ever seen in fucking Fire Pro. That and, like, one of King's matches, like, uh, King from Tekken. King used to give some fucking, like, banger-ass matches. I don't know if I recorded any of them, but King used to give out some fucking bangers. Oh, god damn it, that's it. They were really fucking close. I, the G.O.D. were really close, man. Ain't nobody really than gorillas. I wasn't typing it down, I was just sitting there like fucking wide eyed like like I'm Chris Chan or something. I don't know why. The <laughs> Washington DC was changed. That's the first ever like defense. Yeah, that's the first defense of the match of the show. That's actually crazy. The Washington Exchange retain. All right, here's our next, here's a kind of grudge. Red Queen versus, no, not David Finley. <laughs> Mako Satsumura defend the Fire Pro Women's title against, one, against Red Queen. I almost said one eye Jack, but nope, it's Red Queen. And there he is again, there he fucking goes. Oh, son of a bitch. Anyway, where's one eye Jack? So. Mega Satamora and Red Queen went off against each other once. Red Queen beat Mako Satamora. But then that file got corrupted. So I had to I had to re-record this fucking match. And Mako Satamora won the title back. So she's a two-time champ. Technically. And Red Queen is fucking pissed about it. So could it could he, well, could he, could she win the title for a second time? Could Red Queen win the title for a second time? Will Mako Satamora retain the belt? I don't know. I don't know why I'm asking you. Yeah, why am I asking you? <laughs> Skip that. And also, if you, uh, I should probably point out, this isn't like the base fire pro, this is a mod. Like, it, I have a mod. This is a Carl Zilla's mod pack. Go to the, go to like the Fire Pro. Uh, I think it's the Fire Pro Reddit. I, I think it's the Fire Pro Wrestling World uh, subreddit. And if you, if you have Fire Pro and you want this mod pack that includes like the Royal Rumble plus like a bunch of other matches, plus like a ton of other shit, you can put that in there as well. Like that's the reason why these health bars are here. That's because of, that's the mod. So if you want, I can't. The thing about it is, like, I cannot, like, I think it's, like, uh, you're not allowed to share the mod pack outside of, like, Carlzilla's subreddit. Not subreddit. Outside of Carlzilla's Discord server. So if you go to his, if you, like, just look up uh, Carlzilla Fire Pro mod, you'll find it on the Reddit or the subreddit. You'll, it's a link, it's a link to his Discord, and you can join the Discord, and there you will get the mod pack. That's how it is. Yeah, that's like a ton of shit. Like you can add like a yeah. That's how I. That's like how I add weapons and shit. Uh, like last man standing matches, Tessie's death matches, the rumble. The rumble itself is part of this mod pack. The rumble itself is the reason why the mod. This mod pack is the reason why we even have like a rumble in the first place. Because they don't have rumbles in Fire Pro. Fire base Fire Pro does not have rumbles. So it's just like, oh yeah, well. Like, get, just get the mod pack, if you want to rumble, you can put as many people as you want, you don't need, like, I don't, I don't, you, I don't even think there's a limit, there is no limit, I don't think, I think the limit is how many wrestlers you have on your game, and I have, like, 
over a hundred. So like, I have like probably over a hundred fifty. So yeah, I could probably put like a, I could probably do like a hundred fucking man rumble, but I'm not gonna do that. That's gonna take like, that would take three hours to fucking do. So this is what we're gonna do: fifty rumble, fifty man rumble. Maybe something more. Probably one for a Death Valley driver, but Red Queen able to get out of it. Red Queen with an elbow strike to Mako Satomura. Uh, man, I was burped. I'm, I, I apologize. Oh, that's... Oh, man. You know, sometimes I get really comfortable in this commentary booth I'm in. I get, I get really comfortable when I start, like, thinking I'm at my house. All, like, vacant and shit. I... I apologize. I apologize. Dropkick. Oh, sends her out of the ring. Mako Satomura gets sent out of the ring, but Red, but she immediately gets back in. Yeah, Mako Satomura is the first ever Fire Pro Women's Champion. Yeah, I just noticed that. Yeah, she is the first ever Fire Pro, uh, two-time Fire Pro Women's Champion. I didn't even realize that. It just it hasn't registered until now. Mako, take up. Is she a former NXT UK Women's Champion, I think? I think she is. Correct me if I'm wrong. The the nobody that's in this commentary booth with me. Let me look. Uh, yes, she has. She is a former U NXT UK Women's Champion. I was looking at her Wikipedia page. Red Queen. Shorter tackle. Sends Mako down. Oh, Fisherman Suplex. I think she used that to beat Mako. That's all. Oh, no. 2.9. I was about to say that's it. I was about to announce that we have a new champion, but. Oh, shit. Death Valley Driver. Ooh. Nasty Death Valley Driver. Red, Red Queen is up. Dropkick. Mako missed. For shoulder tackle by Red by Mako. Mako with a kick to the chest sends Red Queen down. Shining Wizard? No. Axe kick. One eye jack. Man with the man the fucking iron the man with the longest amount of time at a rumble. Yeah, he he still has that record. He might that record might be broken uh, in two days. I prompt two or three days. Two days. Yeah, two days. It's gonna be two days. Mako Satomura throws her into the gets thrown into the guard radel. Mako hits her with a big fucking thing. I, when I say I'll it will be in two days, I'm probably I'm saying like I will record it in two days. But I'm not what's gonna happen is I it takes a long time to actually get those to work it gets a lot of time it gets a, it takes a long time to upload these videos these videos take at least like two or three hours to actually upload like they they they're usually like they take it usually like an hour to uh, record and then it takes like an hour to uh, edit them together the editing process usually isn't really all that long. It's just like, oh yeah, just put them in the fucking... It's not that long most of the time. It's like, oh yeah, just put it in this fucking thing and then put it on Clip Champ or something like that. Because I use Clip Champ. I, I, it's, it's fucking free on my Windows. I don't care. I don't care if it's shit. I don't know if it's shit or not. It's just like, I, I just, it's just, it's, like most of the time it's like uh, one or two recordings. It's usually like not a long, like one take. So, I usually edit it together in Clip Champ, but I think like if I don't, then I think if I like do it like this, I'm gonna try to do it like just this video, just upload it to YouTube. 
Oh, that's it! With the cross face! Like, like, yeah, with a cross face. Make a Satamora. Retains again. That was a Nagata lock. So it was a cross face. Yeah, a fucking Nagata lock. Yeah, so that's what's gonna happen. What was I talking about? <laughs> yeah, what was I talking about? Fuck. Fuck, what, what was I fucking talking about? I, like, I forgot. I actually forgot. Are you fucking kidding me? I forgot. God damn it. Oh well. KG Mudo. Shiro Koshinaka, Don Fry, and Shinjiro Otani facing off against the United Empire. Or just the United Empire. And who did I say it was? It was Hanare, Kyle Fletcher, Mark Hen Mark Davis, and TJP. Hanare. Hanare is going to the uh, Royal Ace and Rumbles for New Legacy. Yeah. I don't think he's going to win. Kyle Fletcher. Shota. Narita. Fucking. You need fucking work here. <laughs> yeah. I mean, wasn't even, that's not even gets fucking Gabe Kid. Mark Davis. Big motherfucker. Look at this fucking dude. Yeah, he's, he's out injured. Dunkzilla. Are they bald? Hey, we gotta have at least like one bald dude. Oh yeah, I remember now. I was talking about the um, editing process. Yeah, I'll try to like. I Hey, you guys wanna know something funny? You guys wanna know something really fucking funny? So, I was on the fucking, I was on the call, I was on the mic talking about, oh yeah, I probably won't have to do a uh, fucking editing for this video, I, at least I think I was doing it, I think I was talking like that, I don't know. And, do you wanna know what fucking happened? My game crashed, so I have to, I have to go to Clip Champ and edit it. This is bullshit. Bullshit! I guess it's bullshit! Well, anyway, here's the match. United Empire versus Badass Translate Trading. Jinjiro Otani, Shiro Koshinaka, Don Fry, and the leader of Badass Translate Trading, Keiji Muto. 16 and 0. Okay, so it's. Because it, it counts like one, like everyone is one, so like if they get like one win, it, count, it says four wins. So that's four wins. That, I, everyone has four wins. So that's 16. Kejimudo and Hanare starting us off. Kejimudo, former IWGP Heavyweight Champion. Don Fry, uh, former Ultimate Ultimate winner. Shiro Koshinaka, I think he was the first. Uh, I believe he was the first IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. Koshinaka, the first ever, not Koshinaka, Otani, first ever, I, first ever WCW yeah. Cruiserweight Champion. It's okay, let's see what, let's see what all the United Empire boys have done. I know TJP is the current Junior Champ. I think, I think it's TJP and, uh, Francesco Akira are the fir are the Junior Champs. Ain't it weird how, like, when, like, the War Dogs made their title, like, showed off their new, like, white strap titles, they, like, fucking immediately lost them to the fucking United Empire? That's weird. Big fucking Mark, big Mark Davis, and fucking Don Fryer are in the ring now. Let's start with Hanare. I don't really know much about Hanare's, uh, championship wins. I think it's a he's a New Japan guy, right? I think he's a, he was trained. Yeah, he was trained in New Japan Dojo. They viewed in 2012. Two championships and accomplishments. Uh, he was a 96 kilogram grappling yeah. New Zealand champion. 96 kilogram Greco-Roman wrestling New Zealand national champion. 
Next six kilogram freestyle wrestling New Zealand national champion. One time IPW New Zealand tag team champion. That's pretty much it. Not a whole lot of titles to win as one. I also get Kyle Fletcher. Kyle Fletcher is the current uh, Ring of Honor TV champion. Former Ring of Honor World Tag Champion. Former IWGB Tag Champion. Former Strong Open Weight Tag Champion. One time OTT Tag Champion. Over the top. Former one time over the top wrestling tag team champion. Two time progress tag team champion. Two time undisputed British tag team champion. Won the 2023 Survival of the Fittest. Two time West Side Extreme Wrestling World, World Tag Team Champion. What about what about Mark Davis? Does Mark Davis even have a uh, a Wikipedia page? Yes, he does. Let's look at Mark Davis's. Mark Davis. Two-time Defiant Wrestling Defiant Tag Team Champion. I don't know if, if it's the Defiant that was W that was uh, WCPW, what culture for wrestling. I don't know if it's the same one. Uh, Two-time NWA AWA Heavyweight Champion. I, oh, it's Australian Wrestling Alliance, not not the American Wrestling Alliance. Again, two times two times strong openweight tag champion. He, one of the half he and Kyle Fletcher were the first ever strong openweight tag champions. One time IWGP tag champion, one time OTT tag champion, one time progress tag champion, two time British tag team champion. Yeah, just a lot of the same. A lot of the same titles that uh that Kyle Fletcher held. Up next is TJP. Did you be the first NXT, the first ever WWE Cruiserweight Champion of the new, of the new lineage, at least of the new, of the new lineage with the Cruiserweight Classic? He won the Cruiserweight Classic. Uh, he's a current IWGP Junior Heavyweight Champion. No, Junior Heavyweight Tag Champion. Excuse me, I keep getting this fucking stuff. He's a current IWGP Junior Tag Champion. He, he held the NXT. He held the WWE Cruiserweight Title back when that. Back when the time I got revived. He's a, he's a three time junior heavyweight tag champion, actually. Won the 2023 Super Junior Tag League. Two time X Division champion for TNA. One time the inaugural Cruiserweight champion. <laughs> What's the other Cruiserweight Championship? What, what was that one called? That was also called the Cruiserweight Championship. No, that that one I think shares a lineage with the WCW Cruiserweight title, right? Uh, yeah, that also that shares the same lineage with the WCW Cruiserweight titles. That I'm talking about. It's I mean, if you know wrestling, then I don't even need to explain to you, but. There were two WCW. There were two WWE Cruiserweight titles. One of them was when they uh, was the WCW Cruiserweight title that was changed to the WWE Cruiserweight title when uh, WWE bought WCW out. And the other one was the I think it was 2015. Was it 2015? 2015, 2016? No, I think it was 2015. It was TJP was the champion. He was the inaugural champion. Shinji Otani was the inaugural champion of the original WWE Cruiserweight Championship. And here comes Kyle Fletcher. And now time to actually focus on the match. Double. Oh, oh almost sent it to the outside. Almost sent, almost sent one half of Aussie Open to the side. To the outside. Keiji Mudo and Kyle Fletcher in the ring. Mark Davis. I don't know. I, I know uh, Mark Davis' finisher is like a closed rise and count the fuck, but I don't, I don't know which... I don't know what that is. I, 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 I've seen it. I've seen it before. I know what it is. I know that's his finisher. I know what it is. But I don't remember what it's supposed to look like. <laughs> TJP's got the TJP clutch. The TJP has the uh, TJP clutch. I don't know what Hinare's is. And I don't know what Fletcher's is. Yeah. The Keiji Budo, I do know. Keiji Budo is uh, the Shining Wizard of Moonsault. 
Oh, she knocked. I do not know. Don Fry. I think it's probably just like a punch or something. Or Otani is a. Uh, I think it's a clover leaf. I think it's a clover leaf. Otani, big boot. High angle Boston grab. Stretching the big man. Kicking down, but Otani eats a big shot by Mark Davis. Here comes Don Fry. Mark Davis. Still fighting Otani, but eats a punch by Don Fry. He eats a choke. The badass trainers are trading have won. Won the uh, eight man attack hours a little while ago, and they have defended it ever since. They have not lost. Big punch to Mark Davis. Sends it down. TJP, the legal man, hits him with an atomic drop. Yeah. And Hanare still. Oh shit. Oh. Fucking Ultimate Dragon did that move. He eliminated like six people with that in a Battle Royal once. I'm gonna keep talking about that. I'm gonna keep saying that. That's gonna be like the big thing. <laughs> Should be again doing that move. I don't know what that's called. Head scissors? Head scissors twist? I hope Smokey's not streaming because I'm gonna be pissed off. Yeah! I don't think he is. He got his, he got his uh, he got demonetized. Yeah, because I have a membership for Smokey and I'm like, god damn it. TJP? Oh, look for something. I don't know what the TJP clutch is, but I don't remember it. I think it's like an octopus hole. So I think it is. I have my mic sitting on a desk, so you might hear some mumbling. Mumbling in my tumble. TJP, another atomic drop. TJP, what's he like? Oh, shoulder tackle. Knee to the gut by Otani. Otani. Spinning kick. Another spinning kick, a Savak kick, rolling Savak kick. Is that what, I think that's what it, I think that's what that kick is called. Should be takes him down. Not going for any move with tags and Kyle Fletcher. Hanari, I think Hanari was Hanari was a uh, was like in the match. Like he was the first guy in the match. I don't know if he's gotten tagged in so far. Dragon twist by Mudo, followed by a Boston grab by Otani. But Otani, I don't think that will get him the win. Another dragon twist by. Mudo. Mudo. The head scissors. Kick by Mark Davis. Double suplex by Hanare and TJP. Fletcher with a big kick to the head of KG Mudo. Big fucking elbow by Kyle. Hey Kyle, what's this? Power bomb? Sit Liger bomb. Fucking Liger bomb. Two. 2.9, that was almost a fucking win. Imagine if Kyle Davis pinned KG fucking Mudo to win the title. Imagine that. That would have been huge for Kyle Fletcher. That would have been huge. Giant Empire hasn't really brought a lot of titles. Because I haven't really used them. Alright, DDT. An alright illegal man. Big fucking headbutt. Followed by a Diving chop. Hanare, Shinjiro Otani facing off against each other. Drop down by Otani, but Hanare grabs the rope, does not go into a different move that Otani was probably going to do. It is a cross face, reeling it back, too. Look at the fucking. Look at. reeling it back, but Hanare able to get out of it. Hanare yeah. needs in his stomach. Yeah. Elbow yeah. and chops being exchanged. Yeah. And alright, roundhouse, but oh no. Spinning heel kick by Otani. Both men are down and both men are up. You both men are down and both men are up. I'm gonna fucking say I'm sorry. I'm sorry I did that. And alright, Shiro Koshinaka, the legal man. Suplex to the outside. You know, here comes the rest of the members of Badass Translate Trading. Going to take out the legal man. Oh shit, Hanare. Stalling suplex. What's he gonna do to... Oh, what is this? Samoa drop to Budo. I think that was it. Was that Closure Rising out the fuck? No, I don't think that was it. Every member of... Every member of every... Of, 
both teams are finding each other. Mudo, Mudo and uh, Otani are double teaming Hanari in the, on the fucking on the outside. Don Fry is beating the fuck out of Kyle Fletcher, but Mark Davis saves his friend. What's this? Ooh, what the fuck was that? The damn health bars are blocking the way. I didn't do anything to get no shit. Oh, it's like a. What's that? Hinari still fighting. This time he's fighting the own his the actual legal man. He's fighting Shiro Shiro Kushinaka. Look at that! Do it again. This time it's Mark Davis and TJP. Kushinaka. Pyro driver. This match is being, this match just devolved into chaos. This ref needs to disqualify someone. This is bullshit. This the ref needs to do something. Power bomb by Koshinaka. On the outside. This, the ref needs to do something. Fucking Koshinaka was just just gave a power on to Hanare on the outside. And these men gotta get back in the ring. There's no is there just like no pinfalls? Is there just like no countouts? Cause they wouldn't Hanari probably would have been counted out by this point. Alright, back in the ring. Let me do something real quick. I'm sorry to do that, but what happened? What happened is I gotta fucking get rid of these fucking Discord calls. But uh, apparently, Badass Central Trade retains again. Let me do something real quick. Let me stop recording for. Alright, I, I, all right, I uh, had to. Okay, I, I just ended my task in Discord on the. On the what? What was it? The task manager, yeah. Okay, okay, this is Kaito Kiyomiya versus David Finley for the Fire Pro Wrestling title now. What's the. Okay, hang on, what's the difference? <laughs> oh, yeah, the, the, the tights are different. And this one's like darker Kiyomiya, and this one is like classic Kiyomiya. Look at this one, I like this one. Alright. Bye for wrestling time on the line, so.
I'm gonna try to do it because Knight's, uh... Fuck. <laughs> I said that out loud. <laughs> I'm talking to someone on Discord, I said it out loud. I do that shit sometimes. Anyway, nothing you need to know. So... Yeah. I apologize. I sound like I'm fucking rambling. I sound like a crazy person. David Finley won the title off of uh, Brogan Finley, his brother. I think that last show ago, or like last show or a show ago, I don't know. Brogan beat, I think, I think it was Fit Finley. I think it was Fit Finley. Or, or, I might have been the other way around. I don't know. Kaito Kibi, who you fucking were, kids? This gay kid's fucking hilarious. <laughs> gay kid is fucking hilarious. You don't even fucking work it. <laughs> I keep, I, I've seen that oh, shit. David Finley being a bully. The bully David Finley. You shut the fuck up, I'm not done talking. <laughs> Guy, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Those Bullet Club dudes, man. Those Bullet Club guys, they're fucking fair hilarious. Kiyomiya. Former GHC Heavyweight Champion, Kaito Kiyomiya. Got the shit kicked out of him by Kazuchika Okada once, or twice, or three times, or four times. Okay, anytime Okada sees Kiyomiya, he fucking guns after him. Like, I saw that, like, fucking, like, when there was doing that thing, like, Kiyomiya, like, kicked Okada in the face or something like that, and Okada just went fucking ballistic on him. <laughs> fucking, like, ramming his, like, I think he, did he, like, powerbomb him on a table or something like that? I don't know. He threw to the outside, kicked, like slapped him a bunch in the fucking face. <laughs> Man, I love Okada. Okada might be going to WWE. I don't know. WWE or AEW? I, I think he's going to go to WWE. Ghetto is not wearing a shirt. He's not wearing a jacket. I don't know why. Why he's not wearing a jacket. Yeah, why why is Ghetto not wearing a jacket? And his his little 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 nineteen twenties uh street sweeper hat. Alright, oh shit. The punch to the head by David Finley. I I've heard Noah's been doing like pretty bad recently. Like Noah's been like kind of slumping. I know the the um, match with uh, Abushi and Marafuji. Okay, that one was I heard that one was fucking horrible. Yeah, you because know, I think Abushi was like Abushi hasn't been himself ever since like he had like an injury like a couple years ago and only now just came back like I like a couple months ago. He just hasn't been himself, you know. Points to the head again by David Finley. Finley, elbow to the head of Kiyomiya. Kata Kiyomiya. I don't know what to, I don't know what to say about Kata Kiyomiya. I mean, I don't I haven't really heard much about him. I know he's like I know he's like Noah's big guy. Like I know he's like Noah's like a big big top guy. Like the guy like like the like the next gen Go Shizaki. You know what I mean? But like oh shit, Finley. Ooh! Dominated by David Finley. Oh there's a baseball bat. <laughs> there's a baseball bat. David Finley. The only person of the war of the Bullet Club War Dogs to have a title. Gabe Kidd lost the uh, Five Rosing Junior Tower earlier on in the night. Or it might have been night one. Let me look. 
Was it? That was night. That was. That was today. Yeah. That was the second match in the card. And. Kiyomiya. What's this? Ooh. Nice arm drive by Kiyomiya. I don't know. I, I've heard like a little bit about Kaito Ka Ka Kiyomiya, but like, I don't really hear too much about him. Probably because I'm not like really into Noah. I mostly get news about New Japan and like, um, stardom and shit like that. I don't really hear much news about Noah. I don't like the big, like, oh yeah, like fucking Noah's not doing so well. The Abushi Marafuji match and stuff like that. That's another baseball bat. But like, yeah, I know, I know Kiyomiya is like one of their like top talents. I know he's like a, he, is he a Goshi Ozaki project? Yeah, isn't like the, the thing between Kiyomiya and Shiyazaki kind of like how, like Shiyazaki and, Mar and Masawa? Hey, look. Two-time GHC champion. He's from Saitama, Saitama, Japan. David, oh my god. Fucking nice backbreaker by David Fuma. What? European uppercut by Finley. Kimia dropped it on me. Oh no, Shining Wizard. Shining fucking wizard. But Kimia and David Finley are both. That's nice. I'm, just, uh, I'm talking to someone on fucking Discord right now. And David Finley. Ooh, kick to the head of Kiyomi. Another kick to the face of Kiyomiya. Oh, I thought the fucking game was about to crash. I was like, oh shit, man. <laughs> no. I have four more videos. No, it's not it. Uppercut by David Finley. This match is fucking. This match is actually pretty good. I've been paying half attention, but I still think it's really good. Kiyomiya. Oh shit. Finley. Oh no, my god. Kiyomiya dropped down again. Shining Wizard. Ooh, Shining Wizard. If he pins, he might. Oh no, he doesn't pin. I don't know Kaito's. I don't know Kaito Kimi's finisher. I don't. I don't know it. So he's not like Goshi Ozaki. I thought Goshi Ozaki's was like a show tape, but then I actually saw it. I was like, oh shit, why is this not a two? No two point oh. David Finley almost retained. Kimi. So I think body. He like drop kicked his back or something on his side. Like he drop kicked his like side or something. Oh shit, Patella Brainbuster again by David Finley. We saw that earlier. Like earlier, I mean like, like a minute ago. Pin. Will he retain? No. Kiyomiya kicks out at two. Kiyomiya, what's this, a half and half? Oh shit! Half and half? Awful waffle it looked like. It's like fucking awful waffle. Half and half powerbomb? What the fuck? Hey, Gato, messing with the ref. It gives out. Oh shit. Emerald Potion Kai by Kiyomiya. That might be it. That might be it if Ghetto Ghetto is still messing with the fucking wrath. Oh no! Finley. Ghetto. He, Ghetto helped him out, man. He helped Finley recover at one. Uppercuts. 
And elbows exchange. Oh shit. What's really gonna look for? Stutter! Stutter! The stutter! What? 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 You stole my move! Oh, it's just a two. Wasn't is that isn't that called the trash panda or something? What, what the fuck is that move called? I know it's called, called something stupid. Oh get him. Oh I thought he was I thought Key me a teleported behind Ghetto was about to drop kick him. <laughs> Shit. Patella Brainbuster on the floor, but that I don't think that really helped anything. Oh, I thought the game was about to crash again. I was like, oh no. Oh, get him. Finally gets a hit in. <laughs> Snap. Slap to the chest. Elbow? No, an uppercut. Kinda. Like a European. It does like, shh, It's a really weird looking European. Again, no countouts for this match. I, th I think countouts are off. I think, like, it's thinking, like, yesterday. Or, like, like, the last video where it was, like, a. Uh, like, I turned countouts off for the uh, Bullet Club Colony match. And it just thinks, oh yeah, it just remembered that or something like that. Ooh, go Emerald Flosion Kai again. I keep it, but keep it picks him up. What's Kimi looking for? Fucking discus elbow. Like, a stunner again by David Finley. Hey, Finley, what's Finley looking for here? Oh, now you're gonna call for disqualification. European uppercut. Diving European uppercut. That might be it. That actually might be it. Two. Finley. Finley retains. Diving upper elbow smash. Excuse me. That looked like a fucking. Wow, that looked like a European uppercut. Oh, that excuse me, princess. That was really good. <laughs> that was really good. That was a really good match. That was that. I like that. I, it's like when like two of these like really good edits wrestle. It's always good. It's always fucking good. All right, next match. What is the next match? Let me let me type that down. Let me type it down. Let me type on. Oh shit. This is a match that I've been fucking wanting to see. Oh shit. Claudio Castagnoli defending the IWGP US champion. I was thinking of getting a, like a new Claudio Castagnoli. Maybe like a like a different one. Facing off against the man that depending on how old you are you either have no idea who this man is or you, revered, you know who who this guy is to the dot that fucking man where is he that man is bam margera bam fucking margera so bam margera apparently i i i me and cheeseburger freedom man we we work together right we, we're in the fucking I, i'm the booker i'm booked the shows he just he runs like the business end and what happened is bam margera and the rest of the jackass crew stormed into our office and said said fucking Johnny Knoxville and Steve-O gave BAM $500,000 to wrestle Claudio Castagnoli and apparently BAM said if he if BAM wins if BAM wins BAM gets an extra $500,000 so if BAM wins this match you will have a million dollars holy shit like, so there's a lot at stake here, Bam. Mar but if Bam loses, that five hundred thousand dollars goes to Claudio. So, oh shit, I should turn. Oh no, 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 fuck it. I think I think Bam benefits from this. Bam Margera coming in. I don't know why. I don't know why like this Bam Margera is so well made. Bam Margera. Viva La Bam. That's what his finisher is called Viva La Bam, but I don't know what the Viva La Bam is. Representing the Jackass crew. I don't know if he's gonna win. He's probably not. I don't think I don't think Bam's gonna win. This is like current day Bam. Yeah, current day Bam is beating the shit get down Claudio. I'll skip that. So again, if Claudio wins, he could he gets to keep his title and five hundred thousand dollars. And he gets five hundred thousand dollars. 
If Bam wins, not only will he become the IWGP, the IWGP US Champion, but he will also get an extra $500,000 on top of the $500,000 that he already got for the challenge of wrestling Conor Castagnoli. So, man, 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 man. Bam Marjorie. I, I think Bam probably needs the money. I, I heard like Bam's in like a really rough shape now. Didn't he, hasn't he like made his own fucking language or something? Like, like hasn't he made like his own language? <laughs> like, I think he has. I think he made his own language. Bam. Bam. Bam take a lot of punishment, but can he take the punishment of Claudio Castagnoli? That's the, that's the big question. Bam's taken a shit ton of punishment on not on Jack, not only on Jackass, probably on Viva La Bam. I've never watched Viva La Bam. I didn't even know Viva La Bam existed until I watched a video on uh, Bam Margera. Bam with a fucking America <laughs> takes down Claudio Castagnoli. Bam Margera finding his fucking heart out for that. He wants those. He wants that five hundred thousand dollars and you and the title. He wants the title too. Because we pay, we pay the champions extra. It's like how in the UFC where you get paid more if you're a champion. That's how it is with our titles. We get, we pay them sure. only, we pay them a decent amount of wage. Sure. So, we're better than Dana White sure. in that way. We, me and Cheeseburger Freedom Man are better than than Dana White in that respect. So, let's see here. Let's continue back on the match. But I was thinking about getting a new uh, Claudio Castagnoli. I was thinking about it. I don't know. It's like, I think this Claudio kind of has ran its course. I got into Chris, like a solo run Chris. I think it's time we get a... a new Claudio. Like a Claudio of like a singles run Claudio. Oh shit, Claudio, what the fuck is this? Oh my god, Fisherman Mustard. That might have been it for Bam. That might have that might be it. No. Bam Marjara kicks out it too. Bam raking the eyes. Bam looking for something. Ooh, is that a headbutt? Bam again with a hurricane. Bam, Bam, Bam is faring better in this match than I thought he would. Actually, I thought I thought Bam was gonna be like fucking destroyed, but you know, Bam punched it ahead, punched it ahead of that, punched that big old ball head. None of the Jackass crew are accompanying Bam, so Bam is sitting here. Oh, I'm looking at my commentary booth and I'm seeing, I'm looking around like the audience because like I'm in like a like one of those canopies. I'm in like one of those like a uh, canopy places, like it's like how in like a like a, like football stadiums where you have like the, the commentary like section. Yeah, it's kind of like that. But um, I'm looking at it. Oh shit! Oh man! What the fuck was that? But Claudio's up from that. They, apparently, they didn't do much damage to Claudio. So I'm in the canopy area, this like commentary room, and I'm I'm making a rectangle motion with my hands. Oh shit! Bam Margera forking the fuck out of Claudio. My God, Claudio was bleeding the fuck. Oh shit! Oh man! Airplane spin takes down Bam, breaking the eyes again. Bam Margera really wants that fucking title. He really wants that five hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> this is this is the this is the next Jack. This is the newest Jackass episode, actually. Her Karana by Bam. Well, as I was saying, and I hope they don't do anything weird. So, I could see, like, Johnny Knoxville, Steve-O, Wee Man, like, uh, the other Jackass members. I see them in, like, one of the fucking, like, VIP areas. And they're cheering on, and they're cheering for Claudio. They're cheering for Claudio. They're not cheering for Bam. They're cheering for Claudio. Which is crazy. They want to see their friend get the shit out. Oh, shit. They might just see it. Re Recola Bomb. That might be it. Two. No! Bam kicked out of the Ricola bomb! Holy shit! Bam Marge- Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! He just threw it into a crowd. I think he just hit it like a five year old or something. Claudio went for a suplex. But Bam Bam Margera is holding up really fucking well against Claudio. How? Claudio Lariat, Lariat. Foot stomp. Bam raking the eyes. And Bam Margera. Elbow to the back of Claudio. Claudio. Up oh, and they both ran into each other, but Claudio's immediately back up. Claudio is bleeding, by the way. Claudio is bleeding. He's bleeding the fuck. 
Back and forth, Claudio Lariat takes down Bam. Claudio, what's he looking for here? Backed off driver to Bam. But Bam's up. Like I said, Bam's taken a lot of punishment in his life. He took a lot of punishment. I, I, oh, roll up. That might be it. That's it! Claudio ekes out the win with a roll up. Oh, no! Oh, I, Bam was doing so good. He was doing so fucking good. Like, no, damn it. Claudio cast Jagnoli with the roll up. Man, come on. I was actually rooting for Bam, too. Fuck. Bam Margera does not get that $500,000. Fuck me, man. I feel sorry for Bam. Fuck, man. I keep thinking, I keep wanting to say rest in peace Bam Margera, but he's not dead yet. I, I sound like a fucking asshole. Well, Bam Margera. Rest in peace. And wait a minute, I'm, wait a minute, wait. I'm, lo I'm looking at the fucking um, jackass guys. Apparently, they're, they're giving Bam. They're, they're giving him five hundred thousand dollars. They, they, they look. They just, I, they just fucking gave Bam five hundred thousand dollars. So at least Bam gets his happy ending. <laughs> Bam, Bam got the happy ending. Thank God. All right, co-main, co-main event for tonight. Oh shit! I just pressed random with select by accident. Yeah, we're getting Recon versus Monster Clown. No, we're not. <laughs> Jushin Thunder Liger, the heavyweight, the junior heavyweight champion. Faces off against a man. We never got to see. We, we only saw once. He was supposed to be Jushin, a Jushin Liger rival. But we just never got to see him. And that's Super Liger. Super Liger versus Jushin Thunder Liger. Who the fuck is going to win this? We finally get to see, we finally get to see this match. We get to wonder what could have been. Super Liger. Juice and Thunder Liger. Does he have a nickname? Like what is it? Is it, is it just Super Liger? Yeah, it's, it's just Super Liger. Super Liger. I wonder if that's Chris Jericho under a mask or if they got a different white guy to play him. Here comes the champ, Jushin Liger. I'm just gonna skip it. Anyway, here we go. Fight. Here we go. Oh shit. Kapu kicked by Super Liger, but Super Liger missed. And Super Liger, oh shit. Went for something, but Liger able to block it. Liger, uh, Super Liger again going for that same move. But Liger, but Super, but Jushin Liger able to block it. Drop toe hold by. Super like a super like a body slam with the outside. Christian Liger able to get out of the move. Lariat but missed. What's Liger going for? <laughs> which way? Which Liger? I don't know. Snapmare by Jushin Liger. Super Liger kicking the knees again. Super Liger has Super Liger's been really impressive so far. Oh, Jushin went for a running move, but Liger, but, but Super Liger got out of the ropes. Elbows by Jushin Liger. What's Super Liger going for? Super Liger, butterfly suplex. That was that's what he was going for. He was going for a butterfly suplex. Body slam by Super Liger. Austin Crab. But no, Liger, Jushin Liger able to get out of it. I really wonder what could have been if Super Liger stayed around. Like if they kept like trying to do the Super Liger gimmick. I wonder what would have been. I wonder if Super Liger would have been like as big as Tiger Mask. Like as, no, not as Black Tiger is. Even though Black Tiger doesn't exist anymore. Is there a Black Tiger nowadays? I know Tiger Mask Four is still a thing. I think Tiger Mask. I think there's a Tiger Mask Five now. I think. But Super Liger. I think that would have been just like it. I mean, it was supposed to be like that. I mean, Super Liger was supposed to be the, like, 
the evil Jushin Liger. So, I mean, come on. Both of these men very evenly match. <laughs> Dra oh, Liger. Super Liger missed a dropkick. Into the corner. None of these men have hit any of the big moves. Ooh. Big Hurricanrana by, by Jujin Liger. Saw Super Liger's, one of Super Liger's finishing moves, the uh, elevated, that elevated Boston Crab, but no, that did not make Liger tap. God, my throat is fucking sore from all this talking. Now, now I know how Michael Cole feels. Oh, God. Oh, shit, Crossface. Crossface by Super Liger. But Jushin Liger, able to get out of it. Super Liger would have pinned. Not Super Liger. Jushin Liger would have pinned, but no. Super Liger again kicks out. What is he? Is he going for that butterfly suplex again? Liger back body drops him outside the fucking ring. And goddamn it, I forgot to turn. On, I forgot to turn on fucking Gainats again. I remember to turn it back on for the rump for um my fucking main event. No, because like they're not even like because they're probably not even gonna go outside of the main event. So who cares? Liger, Super Liger. Stout, stalling, um, uh, what the fuck was that? Sup suplex. And Liger again, a lower, low angle Boston Crab. Snap power slam by Super Liger. And I, oh, there's the high angle Boston Crab again. Oh, but Liger again able to get out of it. You know, shit. Ooh, no. Liger, oh shit, Liger going for the Liger bomb. No. Big fucking just a standing Liger bomb. Liger. Brain Buster! My on the to the outside. Oh shit. Ooh shit. Splash. Fucking Tope? Tope con Hilo? To the outside? Ugh. You don't see those too often in those games in these games, man. They, they, I wish they did that more. I wish they did like the out the fucking springboard shit more, man. I wish they did. Liger, what's this? Stalling suplex again on the outside. These men are beating the fuck out of each other. <laughs> Slapped to the face by Super Liger. Super Liger Romero special. Romero Dragon Sleeper. Again, no count outs. Uh, I, I think Keith Bang just wants this show to end. <laughs> Snap suplex by Super Liger. Super Liger gets back in the ring. <laughs> Both Ligers. Back in the Super Liger is I like a little bit bigger than Jushin. Yeah, Super Liger is like a little bit bigger. Super Liger go for Super Liger. Moonsault. That might be it. That might be it. Will the moonsault be enough? No. Jushin Liger. Dragon twist. Look at this. Snap. Not snap. Suplex. Fucking. Arm drag by Lig by Jushin Liger. Drop to a hole by Super Liger. These two men are very evenly matched. Super Liger, oh shit. Oh. Standing Liger bomb, but Jushin Liger. Drop to a hole. Look at this, Romero special. Super Liger has nowhere to go. Nowhere to go except out of his ha out of Jushin's grasp. Oh god, fucking folding Liger bomb. 2.9. Super Liger almost fucking got that. Hurricanrana again by Jushin. And Jushin, is he going for? Was he going for a shooting star? No. Elbow drop. How did I forget? How did I get those two mixed up? And Liger. It's a back body drop. Oh, I thought he was about to get. I thought he was about to fucking launch him out of the ring. Liger. Super Liger got Magiri, followed by a small package, but that's a rope break. Liger, oh shit. Liger bomb! Sit out Liger bomb, but again it's a rope break. Super Liger, folding power bomb! Oh shit. Another power bomb! Oh god! Three Liger bombs in a row? No, but that does that still doesn't get the fucking win. Brain buster by my Jushin Liger. One. Uh, two count. Oh my god. 
This match fucking rules. This match is awesome. Let me get my fucking phone charger. This match fucking rules. This is fucking awesome. What was that? That looked like a like a kick or something like that. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Liger with a super Liger with a lariat. Oh, dragon twist by Jushin. And Jushin dragging him. Oh shit! Shooting, shooting star, shooting star press. But that's a rope break. Liger. Oh shit! Super Liger tombstone pile driver. Oh no, no, not. Oh my god, with the step, with the step on the chest pin, Super Liger is the new junior heavyweight champion. That match fucking that match. That match was fucking incredible. That was great. Super Liger. That's that that would have fucking happened in real life. That would have fucking happened in real life. If these two ever fucking wrestled in real life, if Chris Jericho kept fucking doing that uh kept doing the super liger gimmick, this match would have been would have fucking ruled. <laughs> this match would have fucking ruled. Oh my god. That was that was fucking fantastic. I'm typing it down. Junior heavyweight championship. Oh my god. That match was great. That match was great. Okay, is are the are for how long are, are for how long, hang on are forever hooligans not even on the show? Oh yeah, they're not. Fuck. I I I forgot the book forever hooligans on the show. I forgot to book them. <laughs> All right, let me look. Who should I book Forever Hooligans against? Because I know they didn't wrestle the last couple shows. Who should I book up against? Alright. Okay, it's not going to be part of the match. Next match is Dakota versus Maccabee, but... We're just going to look here. What's the scene like doesn't really get a whole lot of spotlight? Like, let's just put the Forever Hooligans on there. The New Day? Shit, that's a maybe. Recount, again, also a maybe. Buda and Beulah and Kimono wanna lay. <laughs> the full blooded Italians? That's a baby. That's also a baby. I'm looking here. Uh, uh. Oh yeah, fucking Team TNA. Yeah, Sh Shark Boy and Suicide. Yeah. Shark Boy and Suicide. Versus Forever Hooligans. Let me, let me, yeah. Okay, so, yeah, I forgot to book the, uh, Forever Hooligans on the fucking show. <laughs> I forgot, I just now no- I, like, just now noticed. <laughs> so, we almost averted disaster there. Alright. Real world title. On the line. John Jones is gone. Fuck John Jones. We have... In the blue corner, Nobuhiko Takata, the first real world champion. And in the red corner, we have. If I could find. Yo, why am I doing that? The mighty Maccabee. The third real world champion. 
this match is for the money. Not actual money, but like. Oh shit! Wait, wait, hang, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, wait, 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 wait,
this Maccabee gear is very. This Maccabee kind of does kind of suck. Like the fucking his back has no like uh. His back has like no like coloring on it, so it's not like a full single. It's like a like. It's like a, the like the back of it is like open. But he's the he was the only Maccabee on the workshop though. I wish it was a better one, but. Oh shit! Look at that leg! Look at that ankle lock! Takata putting all his weight on that meat on that foot. But Maccabee, what the fuck? Modified figure four. I ne I ain't never seen a figure four like that. <laughs> what the fuck? Takata sends Maccabee to the floor. Oh shit! Choke, fucking rear naked choke, but Maccabee able to get out of it. And for those who think I was kayfabing, uh, yes, Mighty Maccabee actually is a Jewish fencing champion for the Olympics. The Jew, the Jewish Olympics, not, and I'm not, I'm not making that up. There is a Jewish Olympics. I'm, I, I swear to God, I am, I swear on my mother, I am not making that up. I, I'm not making that up. He's a, he is an actual. The guy behind the mask is an actual fencing champion. Oh, there, there's the star of David Press. That, that's what it is. The star of David Press is a fucking shooting star. The star of David Press. That might have just ended Takata's night there. He's still down. Is that it? That's it! Maccabee wins! Maccabee! The first ever two-time real world champion. Holy fuck! <laughs> the star of David Press. Wins the match. He, 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 never, he never did that in real life, but you know what? Fuck it. That's awesome. That's an awesome fucking move. To star David Press. Holy shit, man. Well, that's all for today's video, man. That's that's all for night one. Not that not night one. Night two. Night three. We still got night three. Let's. We got we got Tenryu versus Saruta for the heavyweight title. We got Shark Boy and Suicide versus Forever Hooligans. We got Ray Phoenix versus Boss Root. We got Sting versus Rick Root versus Big Daddy B versus CM Punk versus Andre the Giant. And then we even have I'm not telling you the rest. So I'm gonna see. You, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm, I'll make this video. I'll record tomorrow. I'm probably, it's probably gonna come in a little next time. So bye bye. See you later.